What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? I had to rub my nose there, Mike. Uh, <laughs> so, buddy, okay. man, all right, we did it. We watched episode three yes. of Fear the Walking Dead, titled Tia Twaki. Look, we said we'd give it one more week. We gave it this week, and the verdict is we'll give it one more week <laughs> yeah so so right we'll give it one more week this i mean i think overall it it, got, it, it was a little bit better it was a little bit better I, I, there are some interesting things that began or transpiring yeah well, um, let's, let's get into them so let me know what you think what, well i what, think what, obviously we were talking before we started recording but one of the yeah. main things is that daniel's back yes um now weren't you the one that said he'd be back I don't think, uh, yeah, no, I mean, that was a ways back now. Wasn't that back, that was last season? That was the end of last season, yeah. Yeah, um, you know, dude, it's been so long, I can't even remember, truthfully. I I, I, could have, I I think think Jesse and I were like, he's dead, and you were like, and and you were like. I was pretty sure, I thought, when he just burned down the whole fucking village. Maybe, yeah, well, one of us said he was going to be back, and guess what, he's back. So, he is indeed back, and for, you know, if you didn't watch the coming attraction, spoiler alert. He is back because it, it looks like it's going to go into how he escaped. It showed him like singed clothes and blackened face. Oh, yes. Yeah, I didn't see stuff. that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. watch the, attra- the coming yeah, attraction. Yeah, I went and, but... and, I, and I watched the coming attractions for oh, it. Sick. So it's, yeah, so he's definitely back. We're going to get his story, which is that great call. because we needed him. He was, I liked him. So um, I'm yeah, glad he's, he's. Yeah, he's a strong character. I mean, at first I was kind of. You know, because he said, "Oh, uh, you know, to Strand, he says, I'm, I guess I'm, you know, I'm your guardian, guardian angel.' angel yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, I didn't, like I said, I didn't see the attra- the coming attraction for next week. So I kind of was up in the air of, is he really seeing him or not? But that's right. cool. Yeah. I mean, it's cool for um, Ophelia if we ever see her again. But wait, now he lied to her, to him. He's like, oh, she's at the place waiting for you. No, that bitch is gone. That bitch has been <laughs> gone. We don't know where she is. Yeah, no, she went heading towards America. Yeah, we don't know where she is. So, so Strand yeah. is just lying out his ass. Okay, so Strand, he he shows up at his old friend Dante's place, and Dante is a guy that he used to work for. They were never mm-hmm. friends, but he thinks again. You know, we saw we saw a, a Strand kind of we saw the redemption of Strand, and then now he's back because he's on his own again. He's back yeah. into his old ways. You know, he's he's that he's a shyster. He's he's not a nice guy. He's not a good guy. He's a thief. He's a shyster. He's a piece of shit. And this guy, Dante, knows exactly what the fuck that guy is. And he's like, no, 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 no. I know who you are. I know what you do. We were never friends. Did you even ever really love Thomas? And he's like, I did love Thomas. And, you know, he's like, well, whatever, dude. The point is, is you're an asshole and I probably should just kill you. Instead, he's going to hold on to him and make him work for him, I guess. Yeah, he's gonna let him earn his keep. Yeah, so I mean, you know, all in all, that was that was interesting. Um, I was kind of interested in how he knew exactly where this Dante guy was. Again, yeah, like where? Right? What? What made? I mean, what? did I miss something? <laughs> yeah, I, maybe we did, guys. I mean, let us know down below. I mean, um, if we it did, just miss seemed something. like he knew exactly where to go, and um, you know, maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, because I don't remember, or was Dante one of the, see, I'm not sure exactly, but was Dante, um, Dante wasn't the one that Strand was in contact when they first took the boat and everything. That was Tom, old Thomas, right? That was Thomas. So yeah. I don't think we've heard this Dante character really being mentioned. Unless Thomas, unless Thomas told strand where dante was like maybe thomas knew it could be but regardless when they got to that compound so either yeah, way he you guys let us in. know if we missed something yeah there. i was kind of um you know i was a little bit uh Whatever, thinking about man, yeah. how the fuck that happened but uh teal twaki teal twaki yes teal twaki so teal twaki the doomsday preppers the doomsday prepper show with your host jeremiah Bullfrog, Jeremiah's Bullfrog? Is that what was yeah, the guy's yeah. name? Bullfrog, Jeremiah Bullfrog Odo. Otto. Otto. Yeah. yeah. So that was, I, that was interesting. It was to cool. Me. It was very cool. I, I enjoyed that. That was a cool intro. Yeah. I liked that. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is interesting for them, right? Yeah. Um, turns out that that guy was actually a piece of shit. He was a dick. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. We see, uh, we see Madison watching uh, some of his, his videos there in the room and. 
and we see his, uh, you know, uh, Jeremiah's true colors yeah. uh, to an extent, and I we find see out. Your true you, know. <laughs> you know what I think is really hilarious, Mike, is that mm. Madison is such a dumb. She's such a bitch. He's like, "How far did you get?" She's like, "I, I only got halfway through the first tape." You fucking asshole! Like wow. you couldn't even sit through. Like, so, you know what I mean? Like, she just mm -hmm. fucking can't. She just yeah. can't, dude. And it's like, <laughs> Jesus, what is wrong with you, woman? You so, know, I mean, I didn't think she was that bad in this in this uh, in this episode. I thought the the few conversations that she had, like um, at nighttime when. Um, when uh, Nick and Troy and the rest were out hunting the pigs, the boars or whatever, um, Otto and, and uh, Madison had a nice conversation there. They have the best conversations. Quite I mean, the, so far, those have been the redeeming. It wasn't qualities. as bad as because we both bashed the shit out of the, the premiere mm -hmm. and we bashed Madison. Um, you Still know, so. Right now. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't think she was, she was she was completely um despisable this this episode so mm. you know i'll give her you know if we were doing the review video i'd give her acting about a 2.5 so middle of the road for me but yeah i mean like i said you know her motivations i guess are her family you, you know? know yeah i get it safe. i get I mean, it um all right a couple things i mean we don't yeah. want to spend too much time on this damn episode yeah. look we said we watched it we watched it i mm -hmm. i wouldn't say we enjoyed it but we definitely will give it another week. So go, yeah. moving forward, I just want to talk about um, uh, Nick in a second, but his girlfriend. Yes. Uh, Luciana. Uh, Lucy, Luciana. Yeah. She, she wakes up and she's like ready to go. When are we going? When are we going? When I get out of here, get me out of here. And she's like, yeah. Madison's like, yeah, we're going to stay, honey. Um, and she's like, what? <laughs> and then later on, so, you know, and then you have Alicia and Alicia – what, you know, I, first of all, I knew that they weren't. I knew they were going down there to get stoned and fuck around and like be kids. You know what I mean? Be yeah. teenagers. I knew that shit. I was, I was. I'm like, I'm like. There's no Bible because, because she was laying it on kind of thick. Yeah. Well, that and you also know? like for so, some reason I feel like this isn't this isn't a cult. These yeah. are these are this guy this guy and his family were like doomsday preppers and th those people aren't necessarily cultists they're mm -hmm. they're survivalists which is you know can be misconstrued i guess at times but so not to say that people they brought in with them are not cultists or highly religious to a point where it's whatever but the point is is yeah i saw right through that i'm like all right so then when they went down there and they're like oh if so-and-so shows up whatever the guy's name was i don't fucking even remember or care but the the zombie head it was like oh the first... that was jeff jeff yeah so yeah. that was kind of in... i like that that was kind of cool they're like just yeah. here oh he came you know and it's like i like that so you know, and, and, and that was one of the most real things that I saw. Like, for some reason, mm -hmm. I felt like that was the real, the most realistic. Like, yes, that's what would happen. You'd have a group of teenagers would find some place to just go and hang out and chill and not be safe because it's not safe. They're playing with a fucking zombie head. One of them gets high. Dude, the whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, one of these idiots are going to get high and they're going to stick their finger in there and get bit. I was and thinking that screwed. too in the cage. Yeah. Right? I mean, I guess, you know, maybe we'll see that happen um it's to me i mean honestly to me um this episode the the most interesting part about it was it was at least pretty cool that we got a glimpse into now these people that are running this this, this auto family um i don't uh necessarily trust the 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 dickhead brother troy at all yeah well let's get into Troy um, for a second yeah. yeah no um but also I'm a little unsure about the good brother, Jake, Jake because yeah. it's kind of like stay away from, you know, the Clark family and all this. He's kind of threatening him uh, to a degree. And I don't necessarily feel like it's going to go all good for Jake. I, I can see a brother against brother, a Cain and Abel kind of a thing happening eventually with yeah, them. Yeah, okay. I can definitely um, see that, man. But, you know, and, and one, one other point was with Jeremiah, the father, um, when Madison was watching the tapes and she sees, you know, him screaming at the wife and cursing and things like that. And um, and then there was one scene where, you know, present time when he, he told Madison not to curse um, when when she uh, before before she before watched the she tape, saw yeah. the tapes and he was like, don't curse kind of a thing. So I'm wondering if that, you know, I think they did that on purpose. So uh, I'm having I have this kind of idea that. Um, did he change 
what made him change um, from this this character, this this man that we see on the videotapes to this guy now. Yeah. And, well, we'll probably know, learn a little about that. Or if it's just bullshit. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't think it's bullshit. What I'm thinking is we have a Herschel type character here because Herschel yeah. was also a drunk. Yeah. And kind of a bastard. And, and then, then changed. And then he changed. Things happened. Mm-hmm. Things changed. So again, yeah. he's. I enjoy his character when he whenever so whenever whenever he's in a scene. I'm like, all right, I'm going to pay attention to this scene. Yeah. This and that, um, just to move along again, I don't, I don't want to spend so much time on this fucking episode, but nah. so Nick and Troy have it out a little bit, you know, uh, Troy, Nick's not dumb. Yeah. And he, and he follows, he follows, you know, Troy's following him and he, and, and he catches him. Nick catches him, yeah. catches him off guard, puts a gun on his head. And the, and the kids just like, kill me. Come on, do it. I want to see it's for science. Do it. I'll take 87 minutes to turn. He's like, it's funny because Nick Nick thinks he's gonna catch him with that question. He's like, oh, let's see how long it'll take you to use eighty seven minutes, mm-hmm. with my BMI, with my height and everything. He's yeah. like, it'll take eighty seven minutes. Come on, do it, do it, do it. You should do it. But then Nick, right? He fires into the ground next to him, and then he steals his fucking journal, and he just starts ripping it's pages out. Ripping, yeah. And he does a really fun, you know, kind of uh, addict, druggy, you know, kind of. I was maneuver. thinking, this, yeah, I was thinking. Right? This- it was very reminiscent of of like that druggy Nick character. Yeah. Now, now let me ask you this, man. Mm. Well, I'll, I have a question for you, but but first, it's like, so Nick is now he's gone. He's gone. He's he's, he's did something now. Now he's now he's being a whiny bitch again. Yeah. He wants to leave. He he doesn't want to be there. This and that. I mean, I I get their motivations, but like he's he's turning kind of into this weird. He's like, I don't know what I'll do. They at last episode, he says, I don't know what I'll do. And yeah. It's like, man, just, I don't know. He probably feels like a, like he's a badass now because all this shit he's been through. But, dude, do you think that Nick and Troy can really be friends? Because remember, he's like, oh, we can be friends now. Yeah, now we can be friends do now. Do you think he'll befriend them? Like, that's a, that's a thing, man. No, that definitely, I mean, they put that out there, obviously. I think that it is a possibility that they can spark a kind of a friendship. I think they're both a little fucked up and twisted in their own ways. Because Madison's trying to. Well, the thing with Madison and Nick was when when um, Madison said, you know, because I think it was Nick that said that um, once Luc- Lucian wants to leave, it's kind of a thing when she gets better. And Madison said, Madison didn't say, no, you're staying. Madison said, you'll have to make that choice yeah, to either comes, stay yeah. right. here and let her go. That was or, before she decided she wanted to make a go of it, yeah. Yeah, or, um, you know, you can leave. I'm sure she can leave uh you know, along with him or he can just leave with Luciana himself. But yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, you know, I think in a way Nick is a little bit torn because I think he does want to kind of stay with his mother and kind of protect her maybe, even though, you know, Madison doesn't necessarily need yeah. the protecting. Uh, but, you know, I mean, he left her once, you Nick know, he cares about Lu- Lucy more. He, he does care about Lucy more, but I think that we're probably going to see more of him per- trying to persuade Luciana to stay rather than um, to go. And with that, I can actually see maybe something drastic happening, maybe a horde coming through, or maybe we'll find out who shot down the helicopter. Well, that's and then a mi- big mystery right now. You know now. what I mean? Kill and if Travis, that, yeah. yeah. And if that happens and they kind of see this place as shelter and they succeed in – in killing the people that did this or, you know what I mean? I can see, um, I can see Nick saying, Hey, listen, you know, we, we just defeated whomever let's stay here. This place is safe. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to predict that something dramatic is going to happen on this camp, on this ranch, either it be a horde, either it be, um, you know, the people that shot down the, you know, Travis killed Travis and shot down the helicopter. So, um, with that, I guess that'll be a big, um, um, you know, just just that'll be a big thing for them, a big a big weight to, dis- to decide well, whether to stay or go. I I thought I I thought like you had said with Cain and Abel situation with yeah. the two brothers. I thought maybe yeah. that was going to be something, but then all of a sudden Madison decides she wants to, she's going to go on this little um, that, the searching mission. party yeah. or whatever, whatever they're going to do. Um, yeah. You know, and 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 she sits down next to him right at the at. That's a little weird, right? She put a like towel on his leg because friend. she's being she's look, she's not dumb. She's smart in that way because but she's why that, the that, same I, way that she tra- because she's trying to make it because think about it. This kid's psychologically fucked. And yeah. what's one thing he's really missing at this point? A mother. 
Will, you think that would was a he, mother he, I thought that yes. was like a, almost like a sexual kind no, of No, no, I no, 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 no. I think because remember she reprimanded him. She's like, that was made when you came in here. Make that bed now. And he did it, and I think he likes it. So it may be a type of like erotic sexual thing. I don't for know. Him. I, to but me, for that's her, kinda... I'm telling you, I think it's she's trying to be like this mother to him because she thinks that's what he needs, like to keep him in check. That's what I'm thinking. So again, I don't you know. Guys, I just thought that was odd. There was many yeah. other things that she could have done. Yeah. Well, I listen. It's uh, you know, I I don't disagree. I, I I I figured right away when she did that. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. She's gonna. Try hey, believe it. me, dude. I'm with you. She's very smart. She's very calculated. She knows what she wants to do. Um, but that was just odd to me. I'm like, is she mm -hmm. like, like a advancing toward him in a way nah, i don't because no that's a, see, said, that's, a, like, that's a taking care of a Sith. when when you put when she put that on his lap that's you know that wasn't just arbitrary they 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 created oh, no, that they did scene. it on purpose that, yes, that to me that for? seems that she is um look i'm gonna take care of you look this is what you guys I'm, this is how you guys you let us know let, let us, know, what you let think, us yeah. know if you think it's more of a motherly thing or a, like a she's coming on to him and like coming yeah. on to him because she knows she can use him like a puppet yeah, I, if she gets close to him, you know, not like she would do, not not that she would do anything. And I guess it could be leaning toward your way. I can see only because Travis just passed, so yeah, there's not, nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. I don't think she's going to use her, her womanly wilds, her womanly wilds against him in that way. She's going to do it at a mother because it's what she knows how to do the best. I and, guess, and she guess. thinks that's what he needs. That's, yeah, that's my that's my take on it, guys. Uh, look, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna drop this now. We're gonna be done with this. Yeah. We've gone on long <laughs> enough about this. So, Finish it. Yeah. Um, I do want to just say thank you to everybody who has been, uh, you know, who comments and, and, yeah. and you know, to, for taking the time to watch the video and to just give us your thoughts. Absolutely. We really we really enjoy it. Again, yes. if we don't get to you right away, we'll, we'll get on there. You know, we are down a man. So, <laughs> you know, uh, we're, you know, we're doing our best to get those comments and everything yeah, answered. Very busy. Um, yeah, I we'll, do we'll also, definitely get to you. Yeah, I, I also want to apologize if Mike and Mike or I or both of us at any time yawn during this. It's just we, we kind of record these pretty late. It's after work for both of us, <laughs> and we're we're like really tired. We got lights in our faces. We're kind of tired. So you know, just please bear with us if if we. Yawn. I know I, I yawned a lot, and I apologize for that. I try not to do it in, in the mic, but I'm just really tired. It's really you know, it's getting hot out there, and you know. Anyway, um, so uh, you know, once again, thank you so much, everybody, for just yes. watching and commenting and just keep them coming, keep them coming. Uh, Mikey, where can they get to us if they so choose? Well, of course, you can uh, check us out at Third Person Pod on YouTube. Hopefully, that's where you're watching this right now. Um, comment below, of course, on YouTube. But don't forget Third Person Pod on Facebook, on Instagram, as well as iTunes. And also, don't forget we have a giveaway going on for a few more days for the Jessica Jones Qfig. All you have to do is be a subscriber. The link to the Gleam um, is below that video. So definitely check that out. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos we just posted last week. A cool video um, having to do with Badland, Into the Badlands and Theory for Season 3 uh, coming up. Uh, so check those out. You know, we, we love the comments. Like Chris said, we'll get to them as soon as we can. Um, and yeah, don't forget, to, uh, let's tell them a little bit about our comic blitz. Oh, yeah, I don't have the thing up. I don't have the graphic. Maybe I'll pop the graphic in later. I don't know. <laughs> the graphic's up, it's up. If it's not, it's not. It's like I said, guys, we're tired. What is uh, with you, man? Go to comicblitz.com. Uh, yeah. You can get, uh, use promo code third person pod. You get yourself. The, you can get you can get a subscription. Your first three months will only cost you three dollars. For it's a dollar a month. Get yourself unlimited yes. comics. Go check it out. They're growing every day. Uh, they're adding more and more publishers. It's some really cool stuff over there. So go over there and check that out, definitely. Uh, and uh, if you also want to check out RetroSquat.com, it's a check comedy podcast out. that I, uh, another podcast that I do, uh, all with retros, '80s movies, TV cartoons, video games, stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty cool what we do with it. Go check that out. And lastly, uh, I just want to say, if you guys are on Instagram and you're following us, I want to thank you for that. Uh, but if you get some cool memes or some cool images and you post them on on your your thing or um, just uh, throw us on there, put at third person pod um, in the description so we so you know we get tagged on that. Tag us on any of those Instagram things because we we really you know it seems like it, we we post a lot to Instagram. We don't really do Twitter too much, um, yeah. but yeah, we post a lot to Instagram. So um, that'd be cool if you want to do that. Um, I think it's gonna do it, man. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for commenting and letting us know what you think about Fear the Walking Dead so far. Um, 
I guess yeah. we're good for another week. <laughs> All right, we're good for one more week, guys. This could go away. It's going to be the finale. We're going to be like, yeah. I'm telling right, you one well, more. If this is no good, if this is no good. Yeah. We're going to have to decide very shortly. I think we might have had to already have made up our minds on if we're going to watch this or not, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll give it one more week. We'll see what's up. Um, <laughs> all right, so anyway, thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next Fear of the Walking Dead video. Peace out. Peace.